Alrighty, I will call to order this normally scheduled meeting of the select board. Today's date is May 22nd, 2023. Our first order of business is at 6.30 p.m. Our first order of business will be to approve the minutes from May 15th. I motion we approve the minutes from May 15th. Second. All right, we have a motion made and seconded to approve the minutes from May 15th. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye, three nothing. Alrighty, so our first order of business today is going to be town administrator contract. Um, for context, our town administrator, lovely Jeff over here, um, has a th three year contract. Yeah, three year yeah. contract, which is up soon, and we are negotiating for the next three years. Um, Crystal, do you want to talk about it? You were the one who was. Yeah, so, um, you know, we have settled on, or, you know, we've come up with a, what we feel is a, Fair pay increase, um, looking at other towns of similar size, other amounts of hours worked, things like that. Um, so Jeff's last contract was his first one, so obviously he came in as an, kind of an unknown and we had to, you know, make the decisions how we're going to move forward. So. Um, we have, um, it's been through legal, legal's looked at it, they're fine with the contract. It's a 7% pay increase for the first year, and then 4% for years two and three. Great. Dan, any questions? No, I'm fine. Okay. Um, I looked it over, it looks great on my end. Thank you very much for your work on that, Crystal. Um, and I'm assuming you'd like us to vote on accepting that contract? Nice. Um, I will entertain a motion to accept the contract as uh, presented earlier. I motion we accept the contract for the town administrator. Second. All right, we have a motion made and seconded to accept the uh, new contract for the town administrator. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Three nothing. Thank you. Congratulations. Welcome. Thank you. We're glad to have you for another three years. <laughs> You're <laughs> stuck with us for three more years. Yes. <laughs> one of us, one of us. Alrighty, um, next up on the agenda is the one day liquor license for June 11th, 2023. Um, I do not see the applicant here or on Zoom, so I'm going to move that we push that off until next week. And if they come in and. We don't meet next week. We as I said, meet in two weeks on June what is it? 5th. the 5th. Sorry, thank you for correcting me there. Um, that we push it off until June 5th. And if they make arrangements to come in then, great. And if they haven't contacted us by then, they obviously don't want it that hard. So. Cindy, is that, if you're there, is that timing okay for you? I just wanna make sure. Yeah, that should be enough time. Um, their party's in on the 11th, so that would give them a week to work the details out with the distributor. They have already chosen a distributor. So, um, you know, I, I did reach out and I, I did, she's emailed me back, but didn't say she would be on, but I did send her all the information. Already? All right, well, Thank there's you. still a chance she could join before we're done with our updates, I guess. Yep. True. All righty. Uh, Thank so you. That'll get pushed off. Um, that's all we have for new business tonight. It's a very uh, late agenda. Um, for, in terms of old business, we have select board updates. Dan, do you have anything you want to bring to us? That's no. right now. No. Crystal? No. No. The uh, only thing I have is um, Jeff and I went to the Sanderson Place um, opening or ribbon coming ceremony, Sands Ribbon, whatever you want to call it. Um, it was very nice. I hadn't actually managed to make it up to the building itself until then and was absolutely blown away by the views, the quality of the building, it's beautiful. The, um, the staff was wonderful, the residents were all very welcoming and kind and happy to show us the, the rooms and all seemed very excited about the prospect. Um, one, of the, um, one of the new residents was somebody who used to live in town and had to move out of town because of a lack of affordable senior housing in town and was able to then move back into town that she's lived in her entire life and so it's a win-win it's a for everybody and I was very impressed and I wanted to take this opportunity to thank um, all the people who spent the last nine years making it happen, the committees, the FERCOG, the uh, companies involved in financing, Greenfield Savings Bank, um, the other, I don't remember them off the top of my head, but the other 
um, you know, financing companies. Uh, it's a monumental undertaking, and the, the end product was absolutely amazing. Um, so I want to thank everybody involved in welcoming us to come see that and uh, encourage anybody who um, is interested in getting themselves on a waiting list or something like that for them to look into it because it is quite a gem and right downtown. So. Uh, but that's it for me. Next up, we have town administrator updates. Jeff? Sure. Um, very briefly, we touched on it. We're starting the summer schedule, so there's going to be no meeting next week. We're going to about every two weeks. Um, this Friday is the Sunderland Memorial Day Parade. Um, so be prepared for that. Um, more information is on the website or will be on the website. Um, and it, it starts here at 12 School Street, and we walk to the cemetery and then parade back. Um, it's a great event. So uh, the restrooms, uh, having hope, setting up the final meeting with the architects um, and the consultants just to get the final sign off and hopefully hope, hoping that, that they'll be open for the parade on Friday if anybody wants to use it, um, but it might not. And then Last Thursday, uh, the town moderator and I sat down with the finance committee just to go over town meeting and the budgeting process and had a really productive meeting about um, what other information we could, the town could provide them ahead of time so that um, they feel more comfortable and, uh, you know, obviously what, what we can do better. And then we talked a little bit about some logistics, um, you know, in my experience, the Select Board and Finance Committee have always met together. Um, that didn't work out as well this year, so we we're talking about how else to do it without putting a significant burden on town departments and things like that. So just trying to um, make sure we get everything done in a timely manner. Uh, and so it was a great meeting. That's all I got. Wonderful. Thank you, Jeff. All right. Um, very short meeting. Our uh, applicant hasn't arrived, so at this point I will um, entertain a motion to adjourn. So much. Um, oh, yeah. right. <laughs> no, go right ahead. I second that. All right. You have a motion made and seconded to adjourn. All those in favor? Aye. All right. Three nothing. Please take us out at 638. That might be a new record. <laughs>